brief, um, I wanted to make uh, some content on my journey going to WGU and entering as um, a cloud computing student. So uh, I had a lot of questions when I started and I dug through YouTube videos and I got a lot from different students. Um, so I guess I just wanted to make a short one about my process and what I did. Um, and if y'all like this, then I can make a more detailed one with exactly what classes and exactly where I took them and stuff. Um, okay, so knowing that WGU um, takes a lot of transfer credits, I really wanted to take advantage of that as an older student too. I just like wanted to make my time shorter. Uh, luckily, I had already had um, finished my associate's degree. So if you have finished your associate's degree or you're almost finished with your associates, if you wrap that up, that really helps because it goes towards those 10 core credits. For me, it was a huge deal because I got to wrap it up and then I didn't have to retake a difficult math course, which is pretty scary if you um, haven't been to school in a while and you're thinking about going back and you're like, where am I at math? Um, obviously, if you're gonna go into a tech degree, um, being comfortable with math is suggested and you know, studying on the side, things like that, but every course adds up time. And so if you really are like looking for making things happen and not being um, so behind or whatever, um, anyways, so when I was going on my journey, I did that. I wrapped up my associate's degree and I gave them that and that knocked out my 10 core classes. And then I thought like, okay, what other classes can I take? quicker, maybe on another site, cheaper, and then transfer their, them in. So I definitely use study.com and I also use Sophia Learning. Um, these are suggested in other people's videos and that did knock out some of my classes. I made this little sheet, which I still have, which is kind of um, silly, but these are all the kind of courses that I have to take to graduate. I think that there might be more on here than I listed out originally when I started my journey. Um, and then this is like not including my core classes. Um, so I put a little star next to the ones I've taken um, and I did get to knock some of these out on uh, study.com and Sophia Learning. I will say that they're really different in um, Sophia Learning. It was quicker to get through some of the stuff. I don't know if I got a better like education from it. I think that study.com, if you really want to learn some of the stuff, probably is going to like teach you more and um, have more videos. But if you're trying to go really fast, um, the Sophia was fast and it was in a way, I think cheaper than the study.com. Uh, so I definitely knocked out some of the classes. One thing to remember is that while you're trying to take prerequisites and get ready to going to WGU officially, um, you want to get your timing right because sometimes things take a little bit longer. And if you're trying to get in and you can't get those credits wrapped up, then you've wasted time in a class. And I kind of found myself doing that because I had to pay for study.com for the, the month and that was a certain amount of money and so i wanted to get like as much done as i could um but it was a little bit of like a tricky thing where i wanted to hurry up and go to wgu and start in my program um and get the support i needed that way um, but also try to knock out some of these things so i ended up knocking out i think about four or five classes one of the classes um was changed a little bit and there was a dispute if it would um, cover my course and I advocated for myself so I contacted them at WGU and I was like hey this class is said to be um, okay to cover this equal class and I listed out like why they were the same and the work that I had put into that class, which I actually did put a lot of work into that class. Um, and yeah, so that really was worth my time to advocate for myself. So I would definitely say that if you're transferring credits and you double check and see if anything is missing, um, and then I would definitely take the time to really look into it. You could be wrong and that happens, um, but you could be right and it will save you some time. 
So yeah, definitely look into study.com um, if you're transferring to WGU or another um, online school or other schools that take a lot of credits. That one is more accepted. And then also Sophia Learning. There's a lot of courses on there and they add courses. So I would go through. Um, also, if you haven't, you don't have an associate and then you're trying to get your core classes, um, also worth it to look on there and see if you can knock some of that stuff out. I would definitely do that um, if possible before attending WGU. Um, once you enroll, you can't transfer in credit. So let's say you enroll for a semester and then you unenroll or you take a break, you can't in the meantime take credits from study.com or Sophia and then transfer them. So it would be important to try to do it first, um, but these are courses, so like it does take time and effort. It's not free. Um, if there are any free ones or any discounted things, I would definitely, you know, hit that up. Um, but, you know, just know that like you're not the only one and um, don't always expect to take only 24 hours or two days to finish something. Yes, there were at least one or two courses that I finished within three to six days and that is amazing it feels really good and <laughs> they're done and you know um but now that i'm in my course and i'm doing more of the um the harder courses not harder but like build build upon courses and their certificate courses there's no way for me personally to do them in two or three days like i would i need six weeks eight weeks you know um, the longest I've taken on a course was nearly three months. So um, I think that like the whole point of this channel too is to like talk about my experience and also like set up expectations. Um, and I just really going into it, I didn't know how long it was going to take me to do things. And I really was having a hard time comparing myself to people on YouTube and um, on Reddit and stuff like that. I was like, okay, how long do I take to study? And am I, a, I am I as smart as them? Um, I or whatever. But I guess I should also say, like, in my background, like I don't have a tech background, so I did assume it would take me a little bit longer because I don't have industry knowledge, and I know that that really helps people out. Um, but also, like, there are things where, like, maybe you have more industry knowledge, but you don't you haven't ever done a CompTIA exam um, I just finished my CompTIA A plus and I'm working on my network plus right now um, you know comment below if you're also doing the same thing and um, so I had no idea the structure of CompTIA and I feel like I had to take it and then retake it so that I could um, pass the exam because the exams are much different so um, be prepared for some of that stuff you know where you're just like needing to learn how to study for the certain material um, yeah so I hope this helped you a little bit I mean I would definitely <laughs> make yourself whatever works for you a little guide that it gets you going um, I have a long way to go still. So again, I don't have all the answers, but I think I just wanted to um, put videos out there that might help people um, and understand a little bit more of what, what to expect uh, from going to WGU or an online school. Um, this is my experience.